What's up guys, PC here and today we're going to talk about the Omnibook Ultra, a 14 inch laptop that is making some serious waves in the industry. Now before I start, I have to mention that I've spent way too much time in this review, so here's my quick take and I'm not going to waste your time. And so I'm just going to discuss some of the things that could be a deal breaker for you guys and some stuff that are actually interesting. Okay, let's dive in. Now first impressions, I'll admit that when I first saw this, I was not a fan. But HP is actually trying to position this as a premium device to replace the Spectre 14, but it lacks some of the Spectre's premium features. However, uh, after spending some time uh, with my research, I realized that this laptop has a very different vibe. Now, it's got a strong CPU performance and great compatibility for specialized apps, which makes it perfect for programmers or anyone using it for a new software. All right, now let's talk about the display. Unlike the Spectre, it has an IPS panel, Instead of an OLED, it's 2.2K resolution, which is not as sharp as the Spectre's, and it, it is capped at 60 years. But, on the bright side, literally, IPS means no burn in worries. Now, if I want to talk about the trackpad, it is also different. It's mechanical, not haptic, but surprisingly, it's just as precise and actually has a better palm rejection than the previous versions. Okay, now let's talk about the keyboard, portability, and ports. Now the keyboard is a bit of a downgrade because it's got low travel so typing feels a little shallow but at least the backlight is better than on the Spectre which bleeds less lights around the keys in low light. Now if I want to talk about the portability situation it's heavier than what you'd expect for a 14 inch laptop and it even is a little bit bump bulky compared to others. As for the ports you get USB-C with Thunderbolt and one USB-A and a headphone jack which is kind of limited for the laptop of this size. Now, onto performance, this is where it actually shines. Now, you get it with AMD's Ryzen 9 processors, which crushes it in single and multi-core tasks. Now, great for office work, coding, and even some light gaming with integrated graphics. But battery life is pretty solid for light use, lasting for up to 16 hours, which is pretty impressive in my book. But for heavy tasks on battery, it does total performance a bit to save power, which might be a deal breaker for you guys. So yeah, what do you what do you guys think? Um, so if you if you can get this for a sale of three to four hundred dollars off, I'd say go for it. At, at a full price though, it's not quite premium enough to justify fifteen hundred plus dollars. Now overall, the Omnibook Ultra is a solid choice for people who want strong CPU performance without needing dedicated graphics. But remember, wait for the sale because H HP laptops do go on sales quite often. And yeah, I I just say. Keep your eyes open and thank you for watching.